Okay, we've got a couple things going on this morning. We're making pull-apart bread, and we're making some pull-apart pretzel bread, all using the regular 500 gram batch of sourdough, 75% uh, hydration. Made dough yesterday, woke up this morning. Here it is. It was in the fridge overnight, so it's cold, uh, so it's gonna be easy to work with. Uh, I am portioning all my dough into 80 gram uh, portions, and then I'm gonna ball them for the pull apart bread this is like one of the easiest breads you can do because it's a tray bread so you don't need much for equipment and we'll take a ball of dough make some space here it's actually not a ball yet but we're going to you know kind of rough shape it like bring corners together corner 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 and then just like pinch it into a little bundle maybe tuck in the sides a little bit and then it'll go so rough shape ball and it'll go on the tray and out of a 500 gram batch of dough I generally get about 12 of these guys so I've already done a tray I've just balled them up and I just put them all touching I didn't squish them together I want to let them expand on their own to to really like get connected so that's one tray that's done put a lid on it I'm gonna let those expand and then I'll bake them at 425. They take about 20 minutes. We'll get to that later. two hours. Here are the pull apart rolls and now they are going to be needing pulling apart when they're done baking. So you can see that they've all started to really stick together. Um, they've proofed up a bit. They've expanded like all the space in between them is kind of closing but there's still a little bit of space. I'm gonna throw them in the oven at 425. We're gonna go probably about 25 minutes ish. Uh, I might spin them kind of halfway through just to get some nice even color on them and we'll pop them out and see what they look like. This is, man, this is like a, I don't have any equipment, I wanna bake bread, what can I do? This and focaccia are like super easy ways to make bread. They're tray breads um, without having to do like Dutch oven or need a banneton or a loaf pan, um, real easy. And this is great for dinner because um, there's nothing like fresh baked sourdough rolls and everybody can you know, get what they want, you know, rip off a roll, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. All right, here we go. Let's bake them. Here they are, the pull apart rolls. And I'm gonna retoast these later. So I didn't go super dark with them. Uh, I'm gonna let them cool on the tray and then awesome crispy crust. Um, they'll, it'll kind of steam out just like, you know, sourdough does as it cools and that should re-crispy a little bit. Um, but to, what is it? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, these will be with dinner tonight around like six or seven. So for dinner, I'll put these back in the oven at like 350 and just toast them up, like get them real crispy because I know that, you know, they're going to steam out a little bit. So it, it's it. That, they're done. Easy, simple. Let them cool off and then reheat them and toast them up for dinner time and go slow, you know, 350. 325, something like that. You want to get them crispy, but you also want them warm inside. So it might take like, you know, 12 to 15 minutes or something to get to that kind of point. Easy bread, no equipment required, simple thing. <music> ¶¶